Hello traders, Jason here with SwingHigh.com. It is Monday, February 8th, 2010, and this is your post-market analysis. Well, uh, the markets chopped sideways for most of the day and then sold off into the close, all of this on low volume. Uh, here are the indexes, the S&P down 0.6%, the Dow almost a full percent down, the NASDAQ down 0.7%, the financials, the XLF down almost 2%, the IWM down 0.7%, that's the Russell 2000 tracking ETF, and uh, the dollar down very slightly 0.04%, and the gold down half a percent. Um, so, today uh, has some weight, but it's not terribly significant. Uh, what we have was a pretty much open, uh, a flat open, excuse me. And then uh, we ran up into resistance, hit our heads at the 107.20 area, as expected, and uh, put in a high base type formation, maybe even um, a bullish pennant, if you will, uh, like that. And then uh, broke down, uh, mostly mostly because we were sitting at resistance for such a while, uh, such a long time, and we couldn't break above it. Uh, the only other way to go was down, and. Uh, that's what we did. <laughs> we sold off, found some support at the uh, the opening lows, if you will, uh, the real body lows. Um, pulled back, sold off at the end of the day. Put in a, a tiny low base, a tiny tiny low base formation. Only uh, about a half hour of that, and then sold off hard at the end of the day. Uh, the most volume was at the very end here, on the sell off. So that is not a good close for the bears. For anyone hoping for a reversal, like myself, um, doesn't look like we're going to get it here. What we needed for a confirmation uh, today was a close above yesterday's highs. We were above yesterday's highs at one point earlier today, but we didn't get that close. Uh, so the SPY here needed to close above 106.90, and uh, we didn't get it. What that would have been would have been a... Um, a hammer formation down here at the bottom of a leg which could have been a reversal pattern uh, once again needed to be confirmed so if you read my post uh, yesterday about getting in too early this is what happens uh, right now I'm sitting on that uh, losing position uh, that I got in hoping for a bounce and uh, didn't get it so what I'm gonna do to manage this trade is um, if we go any lower than today's lows, I'm out of it. Uh, it's going to be about a 2% loss at that point, if that's going to be the case. Uh, but I'm, I was in it too early for the wrong reasons, and uh, so I might as well get out of it because the reasons I wanted to be in it are uh, not confirmed. So let's take a run around the markets, see the market internals here. The VIX, uh, not too much action, up 1.5%. I would have liked to see it pop more. Uh, in order to confirm and uh, yeah not much going on there we were lower at one point put in a low base and then just chopped higher for the rest of the day so the VIX up one and a half percent the trend definitely bearish uh, flirted with bullish territory for most for about the first half of the day and then crossed over the neutral range uh, around noon um, the trend Q definitely bearish as well the tick and tick Q, even though they're more short-term indicators, I'm going to take a look at those. Uh, the tick slipped into bearish territory at the end, but for the most part was bullish today. The tick Q, uh, predominantly bearish. So what we have here on, uh, we'll go back to the SPY daily chart. Uh, we're still in this down channel. I have not shown you guys that yet, but what we have here is uh, what could be a bull flag, but for the most part, right now, it is a downtrend, and as long as we stay in that, it is going to be bearish. We need to break above that uh, 108 in order to get some uh, momentum to the bull side again. Um, so while today was sort of a continuation to the downside, um, it was on very low volume. Uh, we did technically make a higher high and a higher low, so uh, very uh, non-directional but leaning towards the bear side. If anything, I would predict uh, lower prices from here. Thanks for being a part of SwingHigh.com. I'll talk to you later.